Hello everyone, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you would use an aquameter. This is a magnetic locator that uh, requires no power and it's quite useful. I used this all my time growing up with my father and the surveying crew and he referred to this to us as the finder. It in fact is the aquameter and it's used to locate iron objects. So what you would do is you would actually find north, you would turn the instrument perpendicular to the ground, uh, you see the red needle pointing in the north direction according to this. You would actually rotate till you find north. Then you would rotate the instrument in that direction and you see the point scale. And again, you see a north to the left and a south to the right. And you see the point scale going from roughly 60 degrees up to 90 degrees. And I'm going to demonstrate, this is a rebar. <clears throat> this is typically what we would see in the ground uh, in, in most new subdivisions. It would have a cap on it, of course. But once you got close and you were trying to find the iron, if it was covered, uh, you could use this uh, this meter and it would indicate through the deflection of that needle where the iron most likely would be. And it was a very neat instrument. We used it quite a bit and uh, I find it very, very useful. Uh, later on when I went to the, to the gas utility, I found out that they used these instruments to locate valve box covers that had been paved over and also if they had been just covered by grass or dirt or anything like that. So it's a really kind of neat instrument. Um, again, we refer to it as the finder. Uh, great little instrument to use, requires no power. Uh, again, it aligns in a magnetic field on the earth and, the, and then, you, like I say, you just actually orient that baby and there you go, there you have it. So neat little instrument and now you've seen the finder or the aquameter in action and this is Locating Iron Pins 101.